Joe Rusnell with the front line with Joe and Joe. Once again, let us go into the breach. According to a new report, some of the Freedom Convoy supporters who were placed on a federal banking blacklist had their information shared with foreign banks. On that list were 198 Canadian trucking companies. According to Blacklock's reporter, the blacklist of trucking companies sympathetic to the Freedom Convoy in 2022 were distributed not only to domestic banks, but also to institutions in Europe. This information was made known as a result of an inquiry of ministry tabled in the House of Commons. A couple comments. One, these people are vicious. Vicious. They're intent on grounding the opposition into the dust, putting you on a blacklist. They're vicious. That's number one. Number two, financial boycotts work. They understand that. And they utilize it. The people have to do the same thing. Do you know that Gandhi threw out the English from India without firing one shot? One shot. He refused to buy their textiles. He also, what's it called? They manufactured their own salt through the Indian Ocean. And they beat them economically. That is a tool the Canadian people can use against Justin Trudeau and his government. Financial boycotts. People have to gather together and stop supporting your oppressors. Stop giving them your money. Financial boycotts work. They're using them against you. You have to use them against them. You are the people. You have numbers behind you. You can stop the dial from moving. Financial boycotts work. Start thinking about them, start organizing, and start using them.